Ooh. It's a lot of pages. It's really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep talking about this book. I feel like I'm live on QVC. Uh, we're gonna keep talking about it, bringing some special guests. Can we guests. put some graphics around that yeah. say like, buy now? Buy now, time. it's on sale. That image just got uh, words in it and art. <laughs> it's totally out of sequence, but um, can you tell me the whole, tell me the whole process of making this book? Like, like lay it out, like, oh my how God, okay. You get called up, how did you all first right. feel like, I have to get all this art? I got asked to do the book, and at first I cried a lot for like an hour because I was so With excited. Joy. With joy, right. Truly, right. like right. crying tears of joy. And then after the hour was over, I was like, oh my God, I have to write a book because I'd oh. never done that before. Uh, and you guys sent over a very big file, about 80 gigabytes of art. Um, that you had kind of sort of organized, sort of not organized, like, which is fine. And so it took about a month for me to kind of go through everything and organize it, create a file structure that was understandable to me and that I knew kind of mapped out what chapters I wanted to see and what sections. And then um, after that month was over, I was looking through everything and I'm like, I don't see some things that I feel like I should see. And so there were some things missing. And then like Spaff- what? what was missing? Uh, there was like no Raz art, so that what? was um, yeah. Uh, there was no, there was not a folder for mm -hmm. Raz. There were some some brains only had like three images in them, mm -hmm. like three pieces of concept art. And I started getting really scared, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, this book is uh, this book's gonna be very light. And that's why some levels are they just nail it. Yeah, they just crush it first Third first out of the gate. Yeah, got it done. I mean, sometimes the first pancake is the perfect pancake. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I asked Spaff, I was like, hey, like, I know that this art exists because I follow Scott Campbell on Instagram and like, I have seen his highlight reel for Psychonauts 2 and I know that there's Raz art and he said, you know what, now that I think about it, I gotta give you just access to our forum, like mm. for Psychonauts 2. Oh, right. And I was given access to the forums, which we were very we don't secret. don't have anymore. Which don't even exist anymore. Mm. And, um... It was, you know that uh, cartoon image of like someone opening a closet and then a bunch of like stuff comes out? Yeah. It was that, but it, like in a in an online version and there was so much concept art, but it was all chronologically laid out from like beginning to end. So I was able to look at how something evolved and then write about it. So that was like instrumental in writing the book, which was very helpful. Yeah, you see the art and then the team talking about it. Yes. And some going like, what if well, I don't like this or like, or maybe this or, um, you know, like you had notes about like all the uh, the vaults. Like there, I have Tim's actual notes uh, for, for like the first draft of the vaults to the final draft. So like, we had like here, little- though, are they? They are in fact Ooh, in there. I those were them. for private. Well, for, sorry, they are in fact in print now, I'm sorry. Oh, I should have read this. Yeah, you probably should have read it before <laughs> we made this video. It's fine, it'll be I'm, fine. I'm slightly concerned now that you may kick me out of here <laughs> after. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, uh, and then I interviewed everybody over the summer and, um, and then we got, I had to right click save every image on those forums and then um, rename them each, uh, which was a very big process. Uh, and then um, there was a lot of data management that I wasn't expecting, but it was really fun. And to be able to kind of dig into how everything came to be was really cool as like a fan of Psychonauts and as a fan of Psychonauts 2. So to be able to do that was awesome. And uh, and then I got to ask everybody uh, questions about like, you know, tell me about this level. I know you worked a lot on it, or I know that you worked on the UI, or, you know, tell me about the narrative. Like, what's the deal with this character? How did they change? And so I uh, did all of that and then started writing the book. And it took about three months to write it, like three months to write most of it. And then I had to write all the annotations for it, which 400 pages of annotations oh my is. God. It's a lot. And then uh, the fine people at Lost and Cole, I sat down with um, one designer in particular at Lost and Cole, Eliza, who I have to shout out because she is amazing. And we literally spent hours on a, a Zoom every single day. She lives in the UK. And um, we would just talk about the book. We would have a screen share up and we would just lay the book out. And she would say, here's what I have. And I said, this is great. Or this image doesn't belong here. It belongs in this other section. And um, as I said, I handpicked Pretty much every piece of art in this book. I, I what did you cut out? What did you? A out? lot. Um, <laughs> some of the clairvoyance, uh, the clairvoyance stuff, where like how people mm. view Raz. I had to cut some of that out because we could only have one page, and there was just a mountain yeah. of them. Um, there was a lot of concept art for uh, early concept helmet. Mm -hmm. um, so Psy King Sensorium. There was a lot of that stuff we cut. Um, there were so many gorgeous massive pieces of Peter Chan concept art that like, there's already so much of it in there's this book. There's a lot in here. 
Don't um, get us wrong. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, but it was just so there. They are literally some of these files are a quarter of an image that is just. I mean, you could make it a billboard in mm -hmm. Times Square. Like, it, they're just humongous images, and um, and so we put some. We put as many as we could in the book. But there's a lot of stuff that just we were just like it's an embarrassment of riches. It this, really was. This might be my favorite. I I've really love like that. that. Keep piece coming of back to that's it. A GG. That's, that's a GG. That's one of the GGs that I love. That's inside. a GG. And we took the mirror, and Eliza was kind enough to make this like beautiful background yep. because it was yep. just sitting on a white page, and I was like, I feel like this we could do something with the background, and she's like, just let me work on it, and she absolutely crushed it. But so the artist does this, and that wasn't I don't think the plan, but like let's make the eyeballs aim at the end, like talk to you from the inside, <laughs> and like. There was also okay. I think there's an image. Is it in here somewhere of like a toilet, like Ford's bathroom? Maybe that didn't make it in the book. You kept the toilet. You cut Peter Chan's other art. Like, I cut all the I other Peter toilet. Chan art and was like, I must have. But think it was about... like that was like a thing where it was like Ford's brain was going to be like sitting on a toilet, like in his. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. that um, but yeah, and just so many of these just stunning. Like I love this. The old colony, the old colony. art is just really beautiful. The the color work over Peter Chan's concept art is just really amazing. Being able to get an idea of like how. A concept piece serves like old Gerlovia. Oh, is this Gerlovia. is not in the game. No, nope, not in, in the game. game. That is in the game. That's in the game. That's in the game. That's I absolutely love those. This is Chris Lamb. I mm -hmm. wanted to make uh, there. We could have made uh, like two full pages of these. We had to we had to cut some of them out because mm -hmm. they were just so cute. But yeah, we have Cop Snake. Cop Snake is in this book. <laughs> like you can't you can't lose. If you love Psychonauts too, like. You will love this book. And I, I hope you do, because this is the Psychonauts book I wanted to see in the world as a fan. And if you hate Psychonauts too, but you love art. Buy it anyway. You'll also like it, because yeah. it's beautiful art. Buy it anyway, because it is really beautiful art. I'm, I am very proud of this. And like I said, it's my, this is my love letter to all of you at the studio. I really enjoyed making it. It was yes. really stressful. We're gonna take, <laughs> it was really hard. We're going to take this love letter, and we're going to sell it. Yes. I'm sorry, it was so stressful. Well, that's no, it, you know, it was like it's writing a book, right? It's yeah. like it's like shipping psychonauts yeah. too. I'm sure it was stress. No I saw write. Psychodicy. It was stressful. I Writing's get it. Hard. <laughs> yeah, but if you look at this book, it looks like it was just a big bunch of ideas that just came to life and made everything okay. Actually, I, I see right here it says oh it's unbelievable to me the level of artistic talent. And I hope you're talking about me there, but you're probably talking about your own. Well, artists. I say to make psychonauts too. Oh, I didn't and, read the rest of and that. And the book. Beautiful book, right there. Beautiful book, right on my tombstone. Tim Schaefer said, "I this made a This isn't what I book. wrote. Someone's edited this. There's a lot of nice things in here. <laughs> there are a lot of nice things in here. Somebody did write. I, in fact, I wrote this and just put your name on it. What Microphone. did Richard Horowitz write in the beginning? Um, he said that you were a tyrant, mm -hmm. that you were terrible to work with. He yep. absolutely was so glad to walk away from this franchise. He never <sighs> wants to speak to you again. That sounds like Richard. Um, I find that treatment is what brings out the best performance. You know, I. I Here's Richard right here. <laughs> Yes. I, look at this. Look at this beautiful man. I love Richard, and the we work with him in every game that we can. He he was lovely. Yeah. Just lovely. Th this has been really just like a joy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a joy to make. What's your favorite piece of art in the entire game? <sighs> My favorite piece of art in the entire. That's so hard. Um, it's so hard to choose because I spent so much time with every piece of art. There are certain things that I absolutely love. Um, I love so much of Levi's environment work, like really beautiful. Some of the stuff that didn't get used for Bob's bottles um, is just stunning, and some of the topiary stuff. I also really love all of the little Trinketon ceramic mm -hmm. figurines. Mm -hmm. um, there are, this was a literally a chronicling of a, a visual documentary of the art and the evolution of everything, and I'm really proud of the fact that. I was able to kind of take all of these things and put them in context for everybody uh, who ends up getting a copy. And um, and to just like, this is the book I wanted to see in the world. I'm a backer. I backed this game. Thank you for backing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, I got a Schaefer handshake Quilts. today. This is like, I, this is amazing. Um, but I, I absolutely love so much of this art and had so much fun picking out what would go in the book and I wish I had another 400 pages because there was just so many amazing things that your artists made, and this is my love letter to them and to oh. you, everybody here at Double Fine. That's so great. I it's just so nice really, to see. it's it's such a great fun book, and I'm really proud of it.
it, it's it's great because so much people don't realize, maybe they do realize, but when you see the final work that comes by on the screen, it goes by in a few seconds. Like how many steps and stages go into just the thinking about the room mm -hmm. and like the artists think about stuff like where like Peter Chan's thing is always like, where does this character go to the bathroom? Like where, like how do they live in the space? How do they use the space? And that's just them thinking about, you know, their just so they can get they can get a handle on it. But a lot of it is about you can have it crazy ideas for a game, just like, oh, it makes sense to you. And if you can just get one artist to understand it, they can make it all kind of real so that um, someone, so the designers and the programmers and the animators can look at this and they'll be like, ah, I get it. I see The it. things Tim see was saying vision. make no sense to me. But <laughs> okay, now, but now I that get I can it. visualize it. And it inspires everything. It inspires the technical people to be like, I think we need a kind of special shader for this Luctopus. Uh-oh. We're gonna, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like oh, no. oh, but that's fun. I want to write that. And so, it's just it's 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 one part of the team effort, but it really uh, it shows where a lot of the inspiration comes from for the whole game, yeah. and they are a good bunch of. It is really artists. fun to see the evolution of different things in the in in mm -hmm. this that you don't get to see in the psycho in Psychodicy. So. Thing is better than Psychodicy. No, I'm saying that it's a great companion piece to Psychodicy. Um, if you're mm -hmm. wondering about like the art process, the evolution of different areas in the game or different characters. There's this is your this will be your go-to, yeah. which I mean, is very fun. Different stories too. It does, yeah, it does. And we I interviewed so many different members of the team, and I had a blast talking to everybody about the game and different pieces of art and different characters. And um, it was just uh, everybody again was so lovely, and it was so easy to talk to everybody because they were um, they were so exhausted from making the game that I could just get anything <laughs> I wanted out of them. Oh my god! They told me everything. You think once I've just extracted everything I can, you think they'd be dead? But you're like, there was more we could get. There was them. more. There was well, it more. was like they were just so. I mean, it, that's when you ask like your kid at night, yeah. like right before they go to bed, you ask them for the it's for like the secrets. Low oxygen, and they exactly. Can tell them then they just it's like that's a truth good. serum. Uh, the the <laughs> the exhausted ramblings. Psychological warfare with the art of psychonauts too. Order now, I am <laughs>